is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and there is an emphasis on the importance of women's health screening during this month, particularly mammograms. Joining us with more information on the screenings this morning are Dr. Cheryl Tu, obstetrician and gynecologist for Kapiolani Women's Medical Center, and Susie So, so Miyahira, director of Kapiolani Women's Center. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Of course, this is a topic that should be discussed year-round, but especially now, we love to give the most attention to it. So what would you say women should know most about screenings? Well, we just really want to emphasize, because it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, mm -hmm. um, you know, women are often the caretakers in their family, and they're so busy taking care of everyone else before they take care of themselves. So we just want to really remind women to get out there, um, go to see their obstetrician, gynecologist, or their primary care provider, and get these health screenings. So with the health screenings, you know, you can detect issues before they become more serious problems, um, and when there's still some options for treatment. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. So there is a way, then, to stay healthy to prevent this yes yeah so one of the things that we recommend is um, well first of all coming in for the screenings mm -hmm. and the screenings aren't that often um, we are gonna show you today a self breast exam so that you can look for lumps yourselves um, and then annual mammograms don't start until age 40 um, it can be earlier if you have family history of breast cancer and um, part of the Capilani Women's Center we have a high-risk breast program so we can help to screen those people that do have family history mm -hmm. or they've had many breast cysts in the past and um, they can get referral for counseling and get the care that they need. Oh, how wonderful. And what should women know already about signs and symptoms of both breast and cervical cancer? Well, um, symptoms of breast cancer is really what changes with the breast. Mm -hmm. um, and so norm knowing how your breast normally feel is going to be a really important part of your breast health. Mm -hmm. um, so we want to do something that's easy for you to do. Um, it shouldn't cut into your um, routine. It should be part of your normal routine. Um, something like when you're in the shower or when you're lying down in bed and you just want to kind of bring your arm up behind your head and then start up here in the armpit. Um, I like to go in like a vertical fashion so if you cover the whole area um, but you want to make sure that you check all the way out to this collarbone and then all the way out to the sternum so you want to go around and that's for and any irregularities any lumps right so you want to notice for any changes um, okay. so we have a breast model here and um, uh, so you can go ahead and feel so you're gonna feel down and you want to mm -hmm. feel down at like three different levels of pressure like this um, and here, there's a lump here, and go ahead and try to feel that. The, the oh, tissue, yeah. the breast, can be pretty dense. And so if, um, you know, when people feel their breast, sometimes people feel, um, they notice like that there's, it's a little grainy or there's really nodular. And if you feel around and everything feels like that and it feels kind of uniform, mm -hmm. that is your normal breast tissue. So you don't have okay. to worry about that. You're looking for something that's going to stick out from what's normal. Okay. And then I also felt another one over here, correct? Yeah, is exactly. Exactly. And is it typically a harder feel? It, it should hard feel, soft? Uh, it could feel soft, but um, it should be more rounded, so it kind of mm -hmm. sticks up out from normal. And if it stays fixed in place, it doesn't move along with your skin. So if you can push it to the side, that's your normal breast tissue. Oh. But if it stays fixed in place, then that's definitely a mass. So um, like here, we have, um, this is the, I guess the cheat sheet here of where the nodules are located. And if you feel this one, this one in A, um, go ahead and feel that. You can't really feel it. It's really difficult yeah, to harder. feel. And that's why we do recommend mammograms. So right. mammograms can detect cancers or irregularities before they're palpable by the human hand. Okay, and speaking of mammograms, uh, again, we ha Kapiolani has a special program, for f a free program. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit mm -hmm. more about that? This is our P2CP program known. It's a partnership with the state, and this is for a breast and cervical cancer control program. The program, the um, goal is to reduce the mortality rate for the underinsured, uninsured women in Hawaii. And what we do is we screen them for any, you know, possible cancer. Mm -hmm. So there are some eligibility requirements. You have to be underinsured, uninsured, or you can't afford to pay like a co-payment. Mm -hmm. And also they have to fall under certain income guidelines and they have to be an American citizen. 
Okay, yeah. and then for, for those that are curious, that are hoping to maybe be a part of the, again, free breast cancer as well as cervical cancer screenings, how can they find you? So they can call us at our Women's Center. It's 983-2002. And also on our HPH website, hawaiipacifichealth.org slash women's centers. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, ladies, so much for joining us. Again, an important issue year-round. But now when we talk about it, you know, make people aware and really push people to go get their screenings, it's a great month to do so. So thank you so much for joining us and to, for sharing the great information. And thank you to Kapiolani for having such wonderful free program. Thank you. All right.